It's being hailed as a victory for people power. Hundreds blocked the path of a UK immigration van to prevent the removal of two Indian men who'd been living in Glasgow's Pollock Shields. After an eight-hour standoff, the doors were opened and Lakhvir Singh and Sumit Sadev were released. To his family and the community where he's lived since 2008, he's known by the nickname Lucky. Are you feeling very lucky today then? Ah, today we are feeling very lucky. <laughs> 36-year-old Lakhvir came to Scotland for work. His visa expired in 2016. Applications to renew were rejected and he says he was due to appeal again before Covid hit. Speaking in his native Punjabi, he described how immigration officers arrived yesterday morning without warning. They did ask me, they said that you know I had overstayed my time here, my visa had expired but you know I was letting them know that I did not want to go. Um, I am a part of the society and I have given so much to the community as well that I did not want to go. I am very scared and I do have fear inside me because until my case hasn't been cleared I'm living with fear every single day. It's the people that have given me the strength to and the courage to continue going further with this. The situation in India is not good for him to return back to. He, has, uh, he doesn't recourse to public funds, he has his own accommodation uh, and so he's not um, harming anyone at the moment. So I don't understand uh, why the Home Office are moving in to detain uh, Lukhvir Singh. The Home Office say yesterday's operation was conducted in relation to suspected immigration offences. It added the UK government's new plan for immigration will speed up the removal of those who have entered the UK illegally. Campaigners are concerned about the prospect of further raids. The issue was raised in an urgent question to the Scottish Parliament. The actions of the Home Office yesterday were at best utterly incompetent, at worst intended to provoke. Either way, they were completely unacceptable. Assurances were sought from the UK government that they will never again create through their actions such a dangerous situation. They did not provide those assurances. Residents of Kenmuir Street plan to hold a vigil tomorrow evening. Organisers say their intention is to show a strong community of ordinary people who just want to protect their neighbours. Sharon Frew, STV News.